What is up everybody, it is Miss Vadams here and welcome to this next episode in the Ark Beginner's Guide series here on the island where I am going to be showing you how to tame your very first flyer which is more than likely going to be this Pteranodon, this wonderful looking creature that I have here. I can see one flying around in the background. We're going to be able to find these all along the southern beach areas of this map. So without further ado... Let's get stuck into it. Before you go out and tame yourself a Tyranodon, you're going to want to learn the saddle, which can be learned at level 38. There we go. And if you hover over that, we can see we need chitin and keratin, fiber and hide. Fiber and hide is fairly easy to come across. Chitin and keratin, you might struggle with a little bit in the beginning. So if you spawn in on the south beach, which I think most of us do as beginners, if you look along the coastline and in the shallows, you will hopefully find, eventually after looking, some creatures called trilobites. Let's have a look. I did spot one around here earlier. There it is. There it is. Okay, you want to use your pike or your or your uh, spear, whatever you've got to give him a little jab. There we go. They can sometimes get a bit lost in the undergrowth. Oh, there we are. And then if you use your pick, there we go. We're getting chitin, we're getting meat, we're getting oil and some other fancy things as well. Usually where there's one, there is many. So go along and get as many as you need. If you were struggling to get to level 38, in order to unlock your saddle just a little trick that you can do learn the raft engram at level 16 craft a bunch of rafts because crafting gives you xp in arc so craft a bunch of rafts in order to get yourself up to the appropriate level that's exactly what i did so yeah i'm gonna go along the beach and grab a bunch of these trilobites and then we can go ahead and make our saddle so now we should be able to craft this saddle in our inventory and then a few things that we're gonna need in order to go out and tame this guy oh hello <laughs> there's one right there look we're going to need bowlers for capturing the Pteranodon. This is the first thing you're going to need. You aim the bowler when it's on the ground. Bam! Cool. What level are you? That is a good question. We want to have a really decent level. Level 20 is not very good. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this one. I'm going to kill it because what that will do is that will encourage other Pteranodons, other new Pteranodons to spawn in. Hopefully some higher levels. And the reason why a higher level is going to be super important for these guys is because we need we need some good stamina and some good weight in order to be able to fly around the island and for it to be able to carry everything that we need. Because this is going to be our first exploration into the skies. So, oh, there's another one over here. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of culling, I think. My max level on my playthrough is 150, which is in line with official service. So really what you're looking for is as close to your max level as possible. Let me have a look. If we get the spyglass out, I can take a look to see what level this guy is. Level 10. Okay, that's even worse. But yeah, even if you're just killing them, I would advise using your bowlers. Because if you just hit it out the sky, the chances are you might not get that shot. And it's just going to fly away and uh, cause you issues. So the bowler just kind of ensures that that uh, it, it, it stays on the ground. Although, yeah, a little bit problematic when they're flapping around like this. Usually what you have to do is you just have to wait till they land. <laughs> Luckily, swinging my bowler around my head like this isn't actually using up any stamina, so we're okay. Come on, pal, there we go. Okay. Yeah, usually one headshot with a crossbow for the low levels. Oh no, we're gonna do two. There we go, I think I must have missed. All right. Let's keep doing this then until we can actually find ourselves a decent level. What level are you, pal? Let's get the spyglass out and take a look. 110! All right. I think over 100 is a go for us. We're going to be here for hours otherwise trying to find anything higher. This is a good starter level. So first thing is first, we do need to make sure that our trank arrows are now equipped onto our crossbow or bow. We don't want to be killing this thing. And we're going to do what we did before with the others. We're going to bowl them. He's on the ground. Nice. Waiting for the green crosshair. And we're going to want to do headshots. And I promise you, it's only going to take a few. These things are pretty weak. So just be really slow in between your shots. Wait a couple of seconds just in case. That bowler should hold in place for 30 seconds. There we go. Two shots and it's down. So what we need to do now is we need to feed this guy either regular meat or prime meat. Ideally prime meat because that is going to ensure a quicker tame and also it's going to ensure a more effective tame, meaning that this Pteranodon will have more post-tame levels added to it. So that means I'm going to have to go off and find prime meat, which means this guy is going to be unprotected. So what I've done is I've made some wooden spiked walls. I'm going to place around it just in case, you know, any ankle biters like Dilophosaurs, maybe even raptors, try to eat this thing. It's just going to give it a little bit of protection. Hold down Q to unsnap. I've made like 10 of these, so that should be enough to offer it some protection from the uh, 
the nasty things in this area. There we go. Usually if I'm hanging around the tame, I won't bother with these, but because we need to head out, find some uh, find some food for this guy. It should be fine whilst I go and get a bit of meat. It shouldn't wake up. I do have some, I have some narcotics and narco berries ready just in case you can use either to keep the Tyranodon unconscious. If you don't have access to narcotics, that's fine. Narco berries will work. But essentially, if you're trying to find prime meat, you might not always get lucky. But one of the easiest ways to find prime meat in the start is to go around and look for baby dinos. Because if you kill baby dinos, they will give you prime meat. I know it sounds a bit mean to go and cull them, but this is a survival game after all. Now, I don't think I'm going to have much luck over this end of the beach. I did see some nearer to my hut. So let's go over there and see if we can uh, grab some babies. I have found a juvenile dodo. There we go, level 35. Let's see how much prime meat we're going to get from you. I'm not confident we're going to get a lot, but it might be enough. Now, even though the dodos are usually passive, the parents, I think, are going to get aggressive towards us, but they're obviously not going to do a tremendous amount of damage. So if we use our pick on the baby's body... Okay, we got four prime meat from that, which isn't a lot. I'm hoping that maybe we can find another baby quickly. If we can get two... I reckon that's going to be enough. Okay, another two baby dodos. I think between these three, we should have what we need. There's another three. And... Ooh. Okay, there we go. All right, I think that's like seven in total, maybe? How much is it? I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's give it a go. It might not be quite enough to do the full tame, but we can substitute... We can substitute with the, the regular meat we have. In the grand scheme of things, what you are aiming for with your taming is to get as high level dino as possible and to tame it as near to 100% effectiveness as possible. But at this stage of the game, we've got a level 110 Tyranodon down. It isn't max level, so I'm not too fussed about getting that maximum effectiveness, but we can certainly try and get as much as we possibly can. So I'm going to remove a wall. There we go. Let's take a quick look. All right, torpidity seems okay at the moment. Now, because this guy has been effectively starving out, their food has been going down, they should at least complete the first beat of the taming process relatively quickly. We're already up. There we go. Look, 76%, 96%. Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. So if you do leave the dino for a bit of time to starve out, then you can tame it almost immediately. In this instance, we can anyway, which is great. I'm going to leave this name for you guys to decide. So do give me your best Pteranodon names in the comments and I will pick my most favourite. I'm going to remove my spike walls because we can reuse these for another tame. Do be careful when removing these spike walls because you can damage yourself on them and also your dino can be damaged as well. So there we go. I, I, I whistled our Pteranodon on, uh, on Do Not Follow, so so that he wouldn't get damaged, or she wouldn't get damaged. There we go. So, equip saddle to ride, the exciting bit. Let's have a little look. There we go. What are we doing stats-wise? Stamina 300, weight 182. Bearing in mind my character's, character's weight is 300. We might not get very far here. Oof. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to fly back to base, I think, and drop a few things off to make ourselves light enough to fly around. But this is really exciting. The first time that you will... Uh, Probably Enter the Skies into Ark is going to be on a Pteranodon, and this is now going to open up the whole map for you to explore and hopefully be able to go out and find yourself a good base location as well because we absolutely can't stay on this beach forever. There are much better spots on the uh, on the island. So let's just drop a bunch of stuff off. Yeah, the wooden spikes uh, are definitely weighing me down at the moment. I'm going to get rid of most of the things in our inventory. I'm going to take this thing out and see what it can do. So my number one tip when you first take to the skies in Ark is please look at your stamina meter regularly on the right hand side because this is going to go down very quickly when you first tame your Pteranodon especially if it's a low level and it hasn't been leveled up yet so some of the first levels that you're going to pump in are going to be stamina levels okay so you can see it's already down to half so you're going to want to take regular stamina breaks wherever you can so there we go let's do that now a few cool things that the Pteranodon can do my most favorite is if you hit C, you could do a barrel roll. Bam! There we go. It does take up a lot of stamina, as you can see, but it could be a way to move around more quickly. And then what you can also do with a barrel roll is if you do a little kind of sprint fly hitting shift and then hit C, 
You can target creatures. There we go. I targeted uh, this, this, this moss drops. I'll let them go free. I don't know why my damage numbers seem to be off today. I might have to uh, fix that up. It looks like since Arc last updated, it has removed my damage numbers. Interesting. But yeah, the sea attack is great. And it has a lot of uses uh, later down the line as well. When you eventually end up on Scorched Earth, which is the next storyline map, you can use this as a method to escape wyverns when you're stealing their eggs. So Tyranodons will still have a use for you after being the beginner flyer, but primarily you're going to be using this to get around and to explore this beautiful map for the first time and also hunt out your base location. So next video, we're going to be taking a look at some really cool island specific base locations. We have got a level. So the first things you will be leveling up are stamina. I would level up stamina first and then a bit of weight because another thing you're going to want to be doing with your Tyranodon is flying to locations that maybe have crystal, that have metal you can get easily, obsidian perhaps, resources that you're not going to find in your kind of immediate starting beach, if you like. But look at these views. Isn't this just stunning? And you've now got the whole island at your disposal.